My name is Adit, and we're gonna talk about graph with Professor Victor. Hello, I'm Professor Victor. In this video, I will explain about what is a graph and book embeddings of graph. First, let's talk about graph. Graph is a mathematical representation of a network and it describes the relationship between lines and points. A graph consists of some points and lines between them. The length of the lines and position of the points do not matter. Each object in a graph is called a node. Graph is a branch of mathematics concerned with networks of points connected by lines. The subject of graph theory had its beginnings in recreational math problems. See number game. But it has grown into a significant area of mathematical research, with applications in chemistry, operations research, social sciences, and computer science. As used in graph theory, the term graph does not refer to data charts, such as line graphs or bar graphs. Instead, it refers to a set of vertices, that is, points or nodes, and of edges, or lines, that connect the vertices. When any two vertices are joined by more than one edge, the graph is called a multigraph. A graph with at loops and, with at most one edge between any two vertices is called a simple graph. Unless stated otherwise, graph is assumed to refer to a simple graph. When each vertex is connected by an edge to every other vertex, the graph is called a complete graph. When appropriate, a direction may be assigned to each edge to produce what is known as a directed graph, or the graph. So now I'm gonna explain about book embedding of graph. Okay, Professor. What is book embedding? In graph theory, a book embedding is a generalization of planar embedding of the graph to embeddings into a book, a collection of half planes all having the same line as their boundary. Usually, the vertices of the graph are required to lie on this boundary line, called the spine, and the edges are required to stay within a single half plane. Graph embeddings is a hot area today in machine learning. It basically means finding latent vector representation of graphs which captures the topology and very basic sense of the graph. We can roughly divide embeddings into two groups, which is vertex embeddings and graph embeddings. Vertex embeddings. We encode each vertex node with its own vector representation. We would use this embedding when we want to perform visualization or prediction on the vertex level, for example. Visualization of vertices in the 2D plane or prediction of new connections based on vertex similarities. And graph embedding. Here we represent the whole graph with a single vector. Those embeddings are used when we want to make predictions on the graph level and when we want to compare or visualize the whole graphs, for example comparison of chemical structures. Graph embeddings are the transformation of property graphs to a vector or a set of vectors. Embedding should capture the graph topology, vertex to vertex relationship, Another relevant information about graphs, subgraphs, and vertices. Graph embedding are a specific type of embedding that translate graphs, or parts of graph, to fixed length vectors or tensors. For example, this is from a deep walk paper. You have your graph, you could represent it as an adjacency matrix, you've one hot encoded which node is attached to each other node. It's a large matrix and it's gonna be very sparse. So your embedding just translates that into much smaller matrix, lower dimensional that you can then use for some kind of task. So what we're doing is we're taking, we're learning the important features of the graph and distilling that giant adjacency matrix into something easier to work with. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.